Let me ask you a question. Have you played more than one healer or a tank in FF14? If you have, then you've probably noticed that supports in this game feel very similar to one another. With the exception of pre-6.3 Paladin, all tanks are builder spenders. You spend your time building your resources in between your burst windows and spend them with the rest of the party for those two minute burst windows. This was something I noticed after I had finished all of my tank guides and I essentially repeated the same information three different times during the rotation sections. And look, I think tanks are fairly fun in this game and Builder Spender is something that's very simple and easy to learn. However, I won't lie, it makes tanking feel a bit stale. However, there is another element to healing that I will get into. Yes, shield healers and pure healers are different, and I would even go as far as to say tanks have it worse. But it's that downtime in between healing or mitigating that makes healing feel a bit stale. You're hitting the same two buttons and occasionally spending it on a new damage ability. Sage does rectify this a bit, but there are three other healers. Now there is that other element that tanks don't have when compared to healers, and that is healing. That's right, if your group is undergeared or just bad, your healing experience will be radically different and probably more engaging than a healer with an overgeared or more competent team. But when all is put together, healers suffer from that same issue as tanks, where their rotation and gameplay tends to feel static. And for some people, that's fine. It actually makes picking up another job of the same role a lot easier and more accessible. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people who actually prefer it that way, and I'm not here to judge or take that away from you. You do you, champ. Another positive of this is it makes balancing a lot easier. Despite the tank balancing issues from this patch, Having tanks play very similarly with very similar abilities does make balancing a lot easier, at least in theory. But when making my Paladin video a few weeks back, I said that one of my biggest fears for Paladin 6.3 is it falling in line with the other tanks. Despite my many gripes with the current Paladin rotation, it's still unique when compared to other tanks. That's what really inspired me to make this video. I personally think it's a bit boring to have every tank play almost the same way. I say almost because they still feel different, with Dark Knight, for example, grooving a lot more than Warrior. But at their core, every tank has access to the same tools and very similar abilities. I mean, Heart of Light and Dark Missionary are literally the same as their ability. Same could be said for Gap Closers. Every tank has one and uses it in the exact same way. Every tank also has a 30% damage reduction ability with a 2 minute cooldown. The only unique one being Warriors, which just deals physical damage back. In my opinion, both tanks and healers need more diversity. And there are some examples of this. I think Sage and Astrologian have standout gimmicks that are a great step in the right direction. With Astrologians, you feel a bit more like a support healer rather than a peer healer with your cards. And Sage manages to stay pretty engaging between all of the damage abilities plus Cardian. I think that they should be pulling inspiration from other jobs in the game, maybe give Paladin more support based abilities like Astro, and maybe make them more combo or proc based like Ninja or Dancer. The takeaway from this is that I think Square should be a bit more risky when it comes to job designs. I understand that those changes come with the risk of imbalance, however I think that at a certain point, balance should not be sacrificed for enjoyment. However, this is all my opinion. I think overall every job in this game is enjoyable, but what do you think? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.